Hey folks, JP here. It's Wednesday, May 2nd. I'm in uh, Metairie, Louisiana, out by the lakefront. And um, got a house that, uh, two story house that some nice people bought. And uh, the seller didn't want to fool with the bees. Uh, I think they've dealt with the bees in the past, or maybe the people before them. But now I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a minute. But um, the bees are just kind of holding tight, and the last time I was here, they were doing the same thing. So I don't know if it was a swarm that just moved in, or if somebody sprayed them, but they're not really acting like they need to be acting. Uh, maybe they're requeening. Who knows? But anyway, let me show you uh, what we're looking at. You can see a section of the band board was removed, but it wasn't removed correctly, okay? Uh, this is where it should have been cut right here. And also here, that, that's your joist, all right? So there's this little gap, that a little chunk that was removed, and it wasn't put back in properly, so the bees are back in. But they've had bees here before, and it looks like here as well, okay? All right, well, I have the, uh, the band board cut, and you can see our old dark comb. The monkey man showed up, I was in a jam, and uh, he came to the rescue, folks, so. Good to, good to see you here, monkey man. Glad to be here. So, uh, been pulling comb sections out, and uh, we've been dodging the rain a little bit. That's why he's in the, the little makeshift shed, garage, whatever you want to call this building. But I'll show you what we got left. These combs are pretty long, too. I mean, you can cut them in half and, and fill two frames up with them. The bees have been very gentle, but I, I think they're going through a requeening process. Because uh, last time I was here, which was about a week or so ago, they were just kind of clustering. They weren't flying too much. And uh, today, uh, the same thing. But um, you can see these combs go way back in here. And uh, there's a lot of cat brood. Uh, I almost said he saw eggs, but uh, I haven't been looking. I've been pulling these combs out, and I may look at this next one, see if I see any eggs. But you can see uh, they're bringing in honey now. And this hive has some stored honey. And uh, so she just might, uh, I'm thinking there's a new queen. But anyway, time will tell that tale. You see our big old American roaches, them nasty things. They're just feasting off the little spilled honey. And look, they're, they're long in the niche too. Take the bottom and push the bottom up towards me. So I can just get... They do have a queen, folks. She's laying. You're seeing eggs, young larvae. So they're just chilling for whatever reason. Could be the weather. I don't know. And I can't remember what the weather was like last time I came by, but they were chilling that day as well. So maybe they're just content because they have honey. And uh, the queen's probably <laughs> late in just about every available cell. So uh, they're about to have a population explosion, though. Get a ton of cat breed. All right, here's some of our sections we transferred. Looking good, looking good, honey. This is brood. See, she's she's laying a good pattern. These these bees are just very chill for some reason. Poor thing. She's laying, trying to land on my hand. Now that's that's a queen that's working hard, folks. Check her out. Here's the other side. And just look at that sky out there. We've had two rainstorms pass over already. One before you got here, Emma. Yeah, that's that's pretty one. Yep. Awesome. Let's show them one more and then we'll get back into it. We got some comb sections that go way in there. I mean, just out of reach. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna figure out something. <laughs> I got a long handle scraper. We're gonna try to get to it. See if we can make it happen without opening that ceiling up inside. Yeah, nice. All right. Get up there. See what else we can get out. All right, well, uh, what I did is I took my long handle scraper. I 
okay this thing right here and I went back in between the floor joists okay with all these clumps of bees back in here I was able to gently scoop out a, a couple of different balls and the last little ball of bees I dropped down on the we had a nuke uh, position right here and Emma said he saw the queen drop down and, and walk right in so he's looking for right now see <laughs> how cool is that put it a little closer right there oh wow real orange see? yeah she is huh Oh, wow, she's beautiful. Yes, she is. Check that out. Might, might start practicing wow, that was pretty good. Her, yeah. That was cool. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. All right, we got a nuke set up right here, folks. Oh, yeah, they're marching on in now. And uh, our queen's cage. We're going to see if we can't get them marching into our setup, and then we'll reunite them a little later on in our deep with the rest of our brood. But uh, considered using a bee quick up in there, but uh, I held off. Glad I did. You know, you definitely don't want to run them up into a recess like this. I mean, <laughs> Lord and mercy. I mean, how far can they go? Oh well, man, this this really worked out well. Like I said, I used a long handle scraper and uh, just kind of used it like a third hand and gently cupped them. And I had a bunch of them, a little ball of them. I actually, I moved probably maybe two or three little balls and just shook them on the on the entrance. And I got that last one dumped them and Emma said man there she is <laughs> he said man I'm telling you I saw her. her abdomen's all glowing orange so <laughs> that worked out great all right we got a little tiny march going a few bees at a time hadn't really begun but just to give you an idea you, you get a little group of them and they just kind of run up around See? at some point you know they're gonna do a march but they, they, a lot of them probably still hadn't figured out that the queen is in that nuke now. But it's going to happen. <laughs> See, slowly but surely. Show you what's happening up here. See? Expanding. All right. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Be sure enjoyed bringing it to you. Another one from JP. And Emil. And a whole bunch of bees. Y'all have a good one. Because we sure did.